I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Smells like victory. And if you want some, if you want to be a victor, get the victor. It's the PFPO3 victor from Petrified Fish. And it feels victorious already. Okay, so what does it say? What are the stats on this knife? And it's a decent sized knife. My Carta. And look at this. $45.99. Good God. When's the last time you saw something under 60 bucks anymore? Uh, with My Carta and K110, which is like a D2-ish, you know, steel. Okay, 140 grams. Ah, 207 millimeters, 91, three and a half inch blade, three point. Okay, okay, okay. But, but, oh, and, oh, by the way, don't forget about the fact that the Baluga has now gone, it's gone, um, Tanto, baby. Tanto, look at the bearings. Multi-row ceramics. How much does it cost, though? It's a whole, what? I mean, you're saying, one of the best deals out there, ain't they? They are one of the best deals out there. Okay. Okay. If you don't know, and, and most of you guys that have bought one of uh, the Petrified Fish knives, and thank you for whoever introduced me to them like so long ago, right? Just had some passing remark like, y you ever seen this crazy thing called Petrified Fish? And I checked it out, and I got one, and the rest is history. But holy moly, they are... Whew, I got a whole drawer full of them. Oh, oh, let me tell you this. Okay, so this is kind of like a blue denim micarta, isn't it? Which, that's what I got, you know, instead of the black, whatever. But, uh, satin blade. Did you, did you see it when I did this? Did you see it? Look at that. Front? Nope. Back? Yup. Why? This finger flick. Kind of strange that they didn't do it on the front, though. I think that would have been, like, cool on the front, too. Or complete cut-through, you know? Don't you think? I don't know. I mean, there's probably some guys going, Nah, no, that's good. This, this is fine. Yeah, I can finger flick it, blah, blah, blah. And who cares? Okay. Okay. It's just kind of just not the same on the front and the back and really i like this look so i don't mind looking at it like that you know what i mean but the good thing about it being a liner lock is looks the same on the front and the back no oh this is steel this is micarta or this is titanium this is g10 you know half and halves drive me crazy anymore some guy got me going on that, and now my, my whole mind is warped. I, I just can't do the half and halves. But this, no half and half. Oh, and on this, you can put some food grade mineral oil on here and kind of darken it all to where it looks like, you know, like that. Or, you know, your grubby paws. Just don't wash your hands for, you know, a couple of years. And yeah, your skin oils <laughs> will darken it down. Um, but I mean, you know, that kind of thing. And it's a good size knife though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Check it out. That, is that three and a half? It's three and a half to the back of that grind, right? I mean, it's almost three and three quarter. It's 3.65, you know, blade length. What did they say? 90 millimeters or 89? I've got 93, okay, um, overall, almost eight and a quarter, and so it's basically the same length as a paramilitary two, full size, can we agree, 20 and a half centimeters, not quite 21 centimeter overall length, and uh, it's not the, it's not the most lightweight thing, it's got some steel liners on there, basically five ounces okay so okay 140 grams okay but not too shabola 
really i like it um you know this is kind of nice uh kind of that machine look on the pivot um i believe ceramic bearings and i think they said that and um uh, you know, for 46 bucks, And you got a Mike Carter backspace there, too. See, I'd, I'd like the scales to look this color all the way across. That's why, you know, I'll take the scales off, dump it in in uh, mineral oil. You know, food-grade mineral oil so it doesn't get sour, nasty, you know, whatever. Uh, but, uh, oh, crap. Let me see. Do we have something to cut on? Come here. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, seems like most of the petrified fish knives I have got. I, I'm trying to think if there's one, any, nah, nah, that I got that, that just wasn't that sharp. But they've all been pretty doggone sharp. Fit and finish on these is good. It's good. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, if this ain't worth 46 bucks, to hell with it. Okay, um... And 25 to 30 percent, and maybe we're bragging at 30. Uh, but the liners are not nested, they're out there and they're thick, and you can feel the heft on it. But the ergos are great. Check this out boom, boom, not a problem at all. And you got a little area you can roll up on, you got some jimping on top of the blade. Okay, and oh, by the way, maybe check this out as well. 14 millimeters, 0.55. So it's not super slender. I mean, a paramilitary two, Spyderco is 0.46. So um, let me see on this. 0 0.14, 3.7 millimeters. Are we good? Yeah, 3.7 millimeters. Wow, 3.8, whatever. Close to four millimeter blade stock on that. So that's all kinds of crazy. And really, um, I was kind of, I, I really liked it when they did that blade shape on this knife. It, it's it's cool. I, I'm always digging that kind of thing as well. You know, clip point type blade. And, oh, the drop is great, isn't it? Oh, man. Look it. It just walks around. It may be too guillotine-ish for you. Quick over the detent ball, though. Right there. Boom. Flipper dab hits you in the thumb. It's already over the detent ball. And it just walks around. Boom. Centered. No blade play. No lock rock. It's hard to believe, isn't it? I mean, how... Did they put anything in here? Let me see. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. There's extra uh, hardware in here, too. And a microfiber cloth. I mean, if that's not insulting enough, right? For 46 bucks, you're going, whew. That's almost, uh, you know, that's that's getting close to a really good value, isn't it? I mean, seriously. Uh, none to brag about on the box, though. Mm -mm, not at all. And I also got this one. The PFP, I believe, 04 now, right? PFP 04. And, damn, I don't have anything in front of me. <laughs> they don't put the name on the box. No name. Okay. Uh, I'll put it down here because the PFP04 is uh, coming out. I just looked for it today, and it was not on their site yet. I'm going, what the hell? So, uh, but ambidextrous thumb studs, G10, kind of weird, freaky, backspacer, brown micarta. Uh, is this K110 is what? Yeah, it is. K110. So, crazy. And and who's the... Um, hold on. Where did I... Oh. And who's the designer? You know what? I don't know. And I, I, I haven't even seen a literature on it. But I got this from Petrified Fish. But I, I didn't get that. So, I don't know. But this is a way cool knife as well. So, look for this coming out soon. And they've had several other releases recently. But this, I like this better. I like this one. This is cool. And you know what? Who's the who's the uh, designer here? And I don't know if this is in-house or who this is. Uh, I'll have to look. And I'll put it down here. Because you know what? I don't recall it being on the information sheet. 
hear it all. Uh, did you? Nah, I didn't see it. I'll have to ask them. Uh, somebody. Okay. But I like it. I love the design. Ergos are great. It's enough in the hand. It's contoured. It's micarta. Uh, deep carry pocket clip. Right or left hand. Backspacer kind of finishes the look. Got some heft to it. Overall length, yeah. I mean, it's a full-size carry. So, I like it for that. And sharp out of the box. Great clip point blade. Uh, just everything about it. I like it. Uh, let's see. Design flow and blade to handle length. Blade to handle length. Everything right in there. Uh, design flow. Nice. Uh, where's my balance? Balance point's good. Looks like they skeletonized the liners. We'll take it apart. Ah. Uh, what can I say? It's good. Ain't doing it from the front, are we? No. Nope. No entree. So let's get into the back here. And kick this one open and nothing big there. And yes, it looks like we got a flat spot on the pivot. So that's all working out. And what do we got here? Okay, so we've got the pocket. Oh, we got a body screw too. And it looks like they're number sixes. And I think they are. Yep, they are. I don't know. I mean, they've always been doing these number sixes. Come on. Don't. Okay. That's the only thing about this one. I'll start unscrewing the cap where the other bits are when I'm turning it because it's in the palm of my hand like this. Um, so that's the only downside of this little this little piece. Okay, but it slides in on either side here. The pocket clip, so it's like ultra deep. And... Uh, I don't think I've had any problems with disassembly on these that I can remember. But it's kind of like every day passes you forget. So who knows? I'd have to look back to see if I ever had any real grief with disassembly, reassembly. And so there's all the screws in the thing. There's your micarta. I like the color on the back better than on the front. It's a little washed out, but that's kind of... How they do it. Okay. And there's a pot clip. Here's a liner. Boom, bada, boom. Ceramic detent ball. Okay. Nice steel liners are okay. Not ultra polished or anything. Um, adequately tumbled. Backspacer. Ceramic uh, bearings. Which I think you got to you got to give them a passing grade just for all those efforts. And then here's your stop. So really, overall, it's clean, easy to disassemble, no problems there, and shouldn't be very difficult to put back together. And let me see, we got a little ah, we got the flat spot on the opposite side for this pivot. So we're throwing this baby back in, and of course this will uh, get this logo squared up when it goes in the back side. Kind of, kind of right like that, and then put our stop in here, throw uh, some bearings on, put some juice on it and throw on a blade throw on a blade put some more bearings on it and let's put the liner on and let's hope that we got it squared up with the okay we do we good uh, what do we got oh we got hold on I don't think this is going to be good. You got to get out of there, guys. I'm going to put that clip back on there. Okay, now. I don't need you either. Okay. 
I just need you. And I need my driver. Aha! Gotcha. Now, I got number six over here on the body. And let's put this one in with our little Weehaw driver. Okay, now, I guess we just slide on the clip, you know, right into our space. Just like yay. Like that. And then uh, drop these. Ooh, we got a shorty and a longy, but the shorty is obviously uh, here. Probably the one that just goes right in the liner. Come on, baby. And I wasn't paying attention. Come on. Okay. And we're in. Okay. Now, get the longer one here. Okay. And we're all good there, too. Okay. So, are we centered? Yeah. Did I get it cranked down too hard? Don't know. Mm, maybe a little. This might be more preferable to you, that it doesn't just jump around with you, that it's got a little bit more hydraulic. Um, I'm going to back it off just a hair. Let me see what happens now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it went back to crazy. Crazy drop. Okay. PFPO3 Victor. Uh, I love the design. Like the blue micarta. Love the size of the knife. Love the blade shape. I like everything on this one. This is a good one. This is one of my favorite. I like the Beluga. I like the 949. I like a lot of them, but this one, this is way cool. Of course, it's a new boy in the in the band, right? But way cool. I'll leave you alone. We love them knives. We're hanging out in Southern Florida. You guys, sub to my channel if you would, and stay sharp.